Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, back to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is backup and data protection, and uh, specifically using the MDisk, an unusual option for those looking to uh, do their backup entirely physically, not using the cloud, um, and using optical media. So there are still people who are interested in this uh, technology. I think it's fascinating tech. The M-Disc, as I mentioned before, it's available in 25, 50, and 100 gigabyte uh, discs. It's available for DVD and for Blu-ray, although I think these days, really, it's only the DVD, um, sorry, the Blu-rays that are gonna be of interest to people. Um, so I've been using the M-Disc and an M-Disc burner to back up three years worth of video content. It was a massive, massive pain, but I got there, and I now have a binder full of M-Discs. Uh, but we all know, of course, if you're a backup fiend, you know that, that even that much effort is not enough because uh, a proper backup approach, uh, three, two, one, necessitates that you're gonna have an off-site copy of your backup as well as an, off as well as an on-site copy. Because what happens if I have my wonderful MDisk video library and the house burns down or the house is flooded or someone throws out for some reason my library thinking it's a... Uh, DVDs from the 1990s. So there you go. So that's why you need off-site in your backup approach. Now, what I've done here using the wonderful uh, draw.io uh, software is I've gone ahead and uh, plotted out a few ways that you could do off-site. And this is actually what I'm intending to do. I'm visiting the US this summer and I'm going to be actually uh, creating a little off-site archive bringing it with me physically in my luggage and leaving it there. And I might do this process once a year for the here on after. So here's a few ways I've thought about that you can, uh, if you wanted to do something like this, you could. So one way of doing a, uh, making this process a little bit easier if you wanted to burn. So we're gonna need to burn two copies of our data. So I'm burning 20 gigs of video data at a time. Uh, you might be burning photos, whatever the case may be, it's not really important what type of data, right? Now, um, I have not been able to find on the market a burner with two tiers. In other words, it's gonna have, you're, be, you're gonna be able to burn two M disks simultaneously. So I asked people who are also into the optical archival game and they said, well, what you can just do is buy two burners, two individual burners and hook them up to your computer at the same time and burn away. Um, so burners are uh, not that expensive. They're about $100 these days for a uh, MDisk capable Blu-ray burner. So if you're using Ubuntu Linux, uh, it's very easy. Apparently with Windows, you might have more issues running the same software simultaneously. Uh, but as I'm using Linux, so that would basically, I just hook up two um, external Blu-ray drives to my computer, load into MDisks, open the program twice, and burn at the same time, and they should take about the same amount of time. Now, we all know burning optical media, however great it is, is a bit of a pain in the ass. So this is just one way I can think of to try and make that process a bit easier, physically buying two uh, burners. Okay, so that's workflow one, burn simultaneously with two M-disc burners. Workflow two is, uh, I have a typo here, burn and then duplicate. So this is what I would love to be doing now if I could find a 220 volt Blu-ray duplicator because I have 16 discs and I really don't want to load them one by one, copy and paste the data, which is gonna take about 30 minutes per disc, then burn each disc again, which is gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes per disc. It's gonna be a royal PITA. So here is another way that you could do it. So you've burned your on-site copies and you're filling up your archive, whatever. And what you could do to save yourself a bit of pain is offline duplication and then move those disks over to your off-site location. So what I'm talking about here, you might see this funny looking device. These guys exist. Unfortunately, they're becoming a rarer breed. For instance, this Plex Copier one-to-one -one Blu-ray M-Disc duplicator copier tower. These guys like, you know, when you see these things for hard drives nowadays, they're still very much used. Uh, they can work fully offline. This one is done, is made by the company called Plex Copier. You know, given that this, uh, this market's pretty small, you're gonna see the same brands popping up again and again. Uh, double click image to zoom in. 
So that's what it is. You can see it's a, it's a, you can, you've got one drive here, one drive here, stick in your source M disk. If you ever used a uh, offline copier, they're pretty, in, pretty intuitive. And you just say, please copy my M disk and you can go away and do something more fun. This guy is $360. If Plex copier wish to send me a free M disk burner, I will say thank you very much, uh, Plex copier. But until, until that never happens, I'm probably going to be doing this. Here's the third option. I, I call it sequential M-Disk burning or burn validate burn. So you want to burn your, uh, firstly, your, your uh, on-site copy, and then you burn your off-site copy. Now, the only reason to do it in this painful way is that you do get a chance to verify the burner was successful, check it out a bit, then burn the off-site. And you can do this one at a time because what I actually do is I delete the data on my NAS after I do this, which in retrospect maybe wasn't a brilliant idea. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can keep the data there and then, you know, do this two part process, do this, you know, a few months apart. So anyway, those are a few methods that you can use MDISC for a three to one compliant backup approach. How would you get your on your offsite copies to your offsite location? You could do what I'm planning on doing, stick them in a suitcase. You could post them one by one. Uh, you could use the mail and post them to like a backup buddy and your backup buddy posts you his M disks. Uh, you could drive them to a, you could drive them to your office, you know, where, wherever you have an offsite that's ge geographically separate from your onsite. However, you can get from A to B or however you want to get from A to B should theoretically work and just keep an MDisk library there. And between, once you've got your two copies, your onsite and your offsite, you know that you're pretty golden from a data protection standpoint. You can do 10 or 20 copies, but diminishing returns really sets in from a risk standpoint after two. Once you've got onsite and offsite, you're pretty much set. You don't need to create four different offsites and scatter them on different continents, although you could if you really wanted to. Hope this video was useful. Thank you guys for watching MDisc Fanatics of YouTube and uh, more videos coming soon from myself.